today uh, we enter into the first week of Lent. Lent is the season of repentance to check our lives, to begin a new life, to transform our lives, to look at our sins and to find ways to develop ourselves on how to follow the way of our Lord Jesus, even if it leads us to the cross. Because we believe that in the end, we shall gain eternal life, a life without end. To follow Jesus closely, we must have some form of discipline. We must know how to control ourselves because there are so many temptations. Satan would always tease us to get lost. Discipline is the way for us to realize our mission. Our mission to continue Jesus' mission to proclaim that God loves us. And for you who are preparing for the sacrament of marriage, it is a very good time to go through the seminar and to look into your stories and to find ways how your marriage will be a testament of how God loves you and how you want to share that love to each other and eventually how that love will inspire the community. Today, we can ask ourselves, what kind of discipline do we need in order to observe Lent properly so as to receive the graces we need to receive something from our God? For example, in our health, we have to take care of our body, check on the food we eat, keep our environment clean, do some physical exercise to keep us healthy. We must discipline ourselves if we want to deepen our relationship with the Lord. In Jesus, we can see how he disciplines himself so that he would always be closer to the Father in heaven. Jesus was tempted in the desert where there was no water, no food. It would be very hot probably. We can just imagine how it is to be in a desert. In such a place, what would we be thinking? What shall we encounter? Lifeless, empty, alone, sad, we shall be afraid. However, according to the scripture for the Israelites, the desert is very important for them because it was there that they encountered God. Jesus went to the desert to meet his father in silence, in a place where he can be by himself, alone. It was there that Jesus found courage and inspiration to continue and to follow faithfully his mission. So many of us would like to go to the desert as well, not physically, of course, but to the desert in our hearts. Even if we are so busy, preoccupied with many matters, faced with countless problems, in our heart is that one desire, to be at peace, to calm down ourselves. Perhaps in those times when we feel the burdens of life so heavily, those moments become our time alone with our God, and we talk to him in the silence of our hearts. God reveals himself in silence. In those times we feel our lives so empty, when we feel deserted by many, those moments do not mean the end or death. They may become spaces for life. We face temptations, and temptations appear all the time. Satan would always test us. Satan would always do everything to win us on his side, to bring us away 
from our God. However, Jesus invites us to be close to him. Temptations may continue. In the case of for you who are preparing for marriage, we may have everything prepared, but there will always be trials and difficulties. But if we face them together with our God, we may be able to receive that courage, that faith. We may be able to discern, to see clearly, to think properly, and make good decisions as to what is good, what is true, and what is according to the plan of God. During this Lent, we try to control ourselves, follow some sort of discipline, lessen some things, Remove what is not good and let go of what is not true. 